Hey, what's up guys, Paul here. And I just wanna tell you, I hopped on the trend, I did it. I created my digital AI avatars, I have a bunch of them to share with you, but going deeper than just looking at the avatars and how you can create them for yourself, I wanna discuss what this means for the graphic design industry as a whole, as well as the specific graphic designers that pretty much feel like they may be threatened right now. Um, there also is some controversy with the app in terms of how the app works that we're gonna dive deep into. But now, let me just get into how you can create these for yourself because I created these and some of them came out really awesome. I'll pop a couple of my favorites on the screen right now just so you can see them. But I wanna show you how you can do this as well as give you some tips on the process. So the first thing you have to do is, I'm gonna go to my phone here, you have to download the Lenza app when you do that and you pull it up, you can sign up for a one week free trial. And if you don't cancel before that week, it is gonna charge you. Um, but on top of that, if we just go to the avatar here, once you're in the, the app, you have an option to continue on that free trial. But when you do wanna go and purchase the avatars, you do have to pay some money. So let me show you how that works. All you're gonna do is go to the create avatars this is where it describes exactly what you can expect. It says the type of AI we utilize for magic avatars may generate um, basically some inaccuracies that they're not gonna be responsible for. And I'll show you some of those as well so you can get a good idea of it. But here are some good examples of if you do the prompt right, you give them good source material, your photos are gonna come out awesome. Now, if you come uh, and you look here, the weird with the artifacts in it, you can see there's just some errors here. So this one has an extra arm. There's just a couple things like that, right? So once you accept that and you click continue, this is where you're going to upload your photos. So you wanna do 10 to 20 photos, all of just you, no other people in the photos, selfies and portrait photos. So I saw that the ones where you're kind of more focused on your face and your expression and higher quality comes out much better than like a full body shot or something that's a little bit blurry. Um, you also wanna do variety of backgrounds, face expressions, and variety of head angles. No photo shoots, because that's all the same setting. No nudes, no kids, uh, adults only. So the one thing I do wanna say is I did two different sets, and we're gonna look at that right now, right? Because the first set I did had a couple different face expressions. Like one of them I was like cheering, another one I was just making a serious face, another one I was smiling. And you can see that just because one of those photos, the one where I was kind of like uh, cheering for something, it it basically generated a lot of different facial expressions based on that, whereas the second set I did was more just kind of close-up photos of my face, some different angles, minorly different expressions, but nothing too drastic. Um, so if we, if you go and you select the photos and you go through with it, you'll see there's a couple different options. I think with the free trial on, it comes to like $5.99 if you do 100 of them. So it's not too bad to get some awesome artwork. So let's dive into it. Pack one is the one I did where uh, I have some of that uh, face expression. So you're already gonna start to see it here. For example, if you look at like in between my eyebrows, how it's kind of like making that expression, that's because one of the photos I kind of submitted had that in it. So you're gonna see that trend kind of follow throughout a lot of these. Uh, but some of them come out really good and they break it down into different categories, which is really cool. So you have mystical here, and then you have sci-fi. These are pretty cool. And then you also have stylish. So all just different kind of artistic styles here. Cyborg, this one I see a lot of people share online just because it's just really cool. The colors, just the vibe of it, right? Just looks awesome. And if we keep going down here, we have anime style one, which is also pretty cool. So sometimes it doesn't even include your full face, but it's just different expressions of you. And it's just something really kind of cool. I mean, it's just, I feel like we're we're living in a time now where we're on the cusp of really the transformation of, of um, intelligence, artificial AI and things like that, and using that and how the two roads of graphic design and AI are kind of converging. Then we have Rockstar, this one's always fun, right? You wanna be a rock star, you got some of that for you. Superhero, a lot of people sharing these as well, so you as a superhero. And then the last one I think is the adventure category. Oh no, one more, and oh yeah, astronaut. How could I forget being an astronaut of when I went to space? <laughs> so these are fun, you know, you can play around with these. Um, oh, and then we have another one, cosmic. Okay, so there are a good amount of categories here. This one's also really cool, uh, but 
as you can see in some of them, it kind of goes off of what you use, right? So even this one, you can see how it's kind of like using that expression. Let's go to the second pack. So this was the other one I did. Just did a hundred of these, but you can see based on the photos I entered, these came out amazing. So this one's really cool. I mean, this is straight out of like some, you know, Marvel movie or something. This one came out really well also. I think this is just, it's just some really good artwork here. Uh, then we go into the sci-fi one. So you can see obviously there's less of each category, but this is spot on. Like literally the way I submitted all the, the source photos, I was actually in a chair in one of them. So it puts me in a chair in this. And these are spot on. I mean, I think the second set really looks a lot more like me than the first set. Um, and then we have just some really cool kind of ways that you can see yourself like in the metaverse, right? <laughs> so we get to the anime ones, rockstar ones again down here and some of them look so hyper realistic in my opinion it's almost like they really just hit the nail on the head and others the face shape the head shape are a little bit off like that one um, we have the superhero ones we go down to the adventure so here's an example of like an artifact like something kind of messed up it added i don't know what that is maybe an extra ear <laughs> something like that but then you have a bunch of cool ones more astronaut ones i mean it's me right when i got back from the moon we have Cosmic, and yeah, there we go. So that is basically what I wanted to share with you, how you do it, it's super easy. Once you submit it and you pay for it, it takes about like 20 minutes, I think, and it'll spit out your 100 photos. You can save them all to your camera roll, and that's that. So if you do go ahead and do those, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this technology. Have you done it? Have you hopped on the trend? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's the future? And now let's talk about where some of the controversy comes in because this technology works by actually sourcing thousands and thousands of different photographs and different pieces of art that are available online. And some of these pieces of art may have a license or a copyright, something like that. And on top of it, another thing to think about is that the artists that have their artwork being used for this aren't being compensated for it, number one. And number two, they don't really have a way where they can opt out right now. So there are some people talking about how this app is profiting off of artists and things like that. And it really, I think it's something that's gonna make it all the way up to the Supreme Court in my opinion, because it, when you think about it, what does a, a human artist do? They're gonna use inspiration of other artists and, and they're gonna make it their own. And in a sense, that's kind of what this app is doing. You're giving it the input. You still need that person to give it the input, right? So that's the other part of it. Um, you know, our graphic designer is gonna be extinct. Well, no, because this is just another tool. And there's always gonna be clients that need help creating their vision. And as a graphic designer, maybe you're not gonna be doing all the nitty gritty details, but you're gonna be the one to give the inputs to this AI, and it's gonna spit out all these different examples, which you're gonna to give to a client, you're gonna narrow it down and bring their vision to life. So while there is some controversy to it, I do think that this technology is not going anywhere. It's gonna keep getting bigger. And I've seen other applications to this in the business realm as well. This one's more in entertainment space, creating your own digital avatar. It's super vile, right? It's so easy to share these on social media and then they get a lot of good reactions because it's kind of another version of, of yourself. It's, it's you in a different light, a different perspective. And it kind of opens you up to a lot more um, visual art, I think, than people usually do. So I hope that was an interesting video. If you do like this kind of content where I'm discussing some recent trends, how it relates to digital marketing and freelancing and graphic design and things like that, let me know. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post new content. Until the next one, I look forward to your success.